What is going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Chark Kurt. What's up? We are continuing fourth with Star Wars Visions Season 2. We are going to do seven, eight, and nine episodes back to back to back. So you just have all that together because... That seems to be the way that we should do this. Not copying Greg at all. You guys, if you haven't done so already, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications pretty please. Vote the sucker up, let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching while you're subscribing and upvoting. Join our Patreon page or join memberships so you can get access to the full uncut reaction, you know, because you're seeing a chopped up version here on YouTube. You'll need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode and an adjacent window to our reaction will give you a three to one countdown sync and it'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite Star Wars fans from the internet. All right, here we go. Be okay, Sharuk. Of course, he's okay. Is his name Sharuk. Wow. They want everything. What do they even want, Sharuk? I can't get past the fact that his name is Sharuk. What's with the tufters? We are approaching the insurgent hideouts. Very treacherous. I love that he's hiding. Like, oh no, what if they see me? Right. Blum, blum. Will the chief hold the fort until I'm back? The bandit chief will be right here. Oh. Naughty. Should he have done that? They don't know what happened. No, they noticed. Wait, the, the flute. Uh oh. What are you doing? That way. I saw it myself. Oh, you're so right. Oh, no. You're right. Quick, 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 hurry. Okay, think, Charak, think. Uh oh. We are entering the Janguri settlements. Uh, shouldn't we call for backup? It's about to arrive. Do the stormtroopers talk with Hindi accents as well? Don't know. I haven't heard them speak yet. Uh oh. Oh shit. We saw what you did. You pulled this flute. Oh no. The Empire pays a lot of credits for kids like you. Honey! The Jungoris are here. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, right in the face. Ali. Uh oh. Phew. Oh, oh, I love that. That looks like a, a Thai ogre, too. I thought I lost you. We're safe. Okay? A stop is not far now. Uh. I think you need to get off the train if you can. Hey, Rani, look. <laughs> That's our destination. You know, Pa believes we'll be safe there. It's a place where uh, they might help us. A temple? <laughs> kind of looks like a tuk tuk, uh, auto rickshaw. <laughs> yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Rani, hey, hey, stop. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's giving me so much anxiety. These are dark times. Your kids shouldn't be wandering too far from home. You can eat here, but you've got to be quick about it. A storm is approaching. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 put it down. Oh, put it down. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You are done. Oh, no. Nice. Neat trick. May I see that again? Did we miss something? <laughs> oh, did it, buddy? Uh oh. Good guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Oy. Oh, what? The scavengers tell me of a girl they saw in the train with unusual bars. So I went to these farm villages just beyond the train tracks and. Them all. 
Oh shit. Who's doing it? It's the, oh, la- the, old, the old lady. lady. The old lady. Yeah. Who's doing that? Distraction. Oof. Whoa. Oh shoot. Ronnie, why why did you do this? It, it wasn't me. Leave them alone. Oh. Is she gonna bust out a lightsaber out of her cane? Stop wasting my time. Oh what? Oh hell oh, yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Auntie! Uh, Auntie Jedi's got some moves. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, she is badass. What? Oh, oh, I thought I killed him. A Jedi in Cola. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead too, I think. Yep. Bye. Oh, dope. Do we have lots of kids hiding? Can you go down this tunnel? She goes down this no, tunnel not with you. me. You'll have to let go of her now. You know this is the only way to keep her safe, don't you? Oh. I always knew you were meant for bigger things. It's time you take that path now. Why can't he come? This path is only meant for you. The bandit has got to depart now. The bandit's right for? Feast and wonder. Mm. Force be with you. Oh, that was lovely. That was very interesting. If you don't know, this video is both on Cine Desi and Cine Pals. So, to my Indian audience, if we say anything that seems quite obvious, now you understand why. To my American audience, if you have no idea who Shah Rukh Khan is, he's a very, very, very famous Indian actor. And his name is spelled different here in the credits. It's spelled C-H-A-R-U-K, Shah Rukh. Shah Rukh, but, but it does sound like Shah Rukh. It's very clearly inspired by SRK, Shah Rukh Khan. And yeah. Rani, there's a very, very famous actress in India named Rani Mukherjee. I mean, Rani well, Rani's Rani, kind of a common name. but Rani means queen. I'm fairly certain the reason they chose that name is because of Rani Mukherjee. Okay. It just seems like a... I mean, come on. Well, Rani means queen. She is a queen. Yes, queen! But yes, definitely because of Rani movie. Okay. I thought it was pretty cool how they incorporated all the Indian isms and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, the things that we recognize. All of the time we spent in India, I did not once see a street performer. Actually, not. that's not true. In Bangalore, I saw someone dancing. Like, on the sidewalk, when we were walking around shopping, I saw someone doing some pop and locking. But uh-huh. not not any music-related stuff. I like the the kind of vibe that, that they were doing. And I thought the train thing, although we haven't seen the movie yet, was very reminiscent of something like Shole, you know, mm. where, where they're showing like the bandits versus the, the people in the train. I think there's a train heist in Shole, or it's just something that's like quite common because I know that there's like a whole region in India where like bandits like that on horseback are very common or at least they were at a certain point in history. And so I thought that was a nice nod to that and the culture. And also the fact that like the Jedi auntie and young Rani were, I think they're like, 
tribal you can tell from like the way they're dressed and like the face tattoos and stuff like that and i like that kind of differentiation between like we have these tribal people who are more like the common people who are the ones that are fighting against the empire who are you know mm. the well-dressed baddies yeah you know the masks those are malayalam related right i don't know if it's malayalam exactly it's definitely somewhere from yeah. south india right there. yeah I, I mean i typed it i mean unless it's a uh, kerala sure so yeah you're right you're right absolutely yeah that was a good call like i love all the little nods to indian culture kind of well, far well, and wide <laughs> you know from different regions sure i mean i wouldn't say it's a little nod i mean the whole thing is just like like it's all indian well yeah but what I'm saying is it's like it's not like specifically from one region. They're kind sure. of pulling from all different regions of India to give this like feel of Indian style planet with people who speak with an Indian accent and who like feel like Indians, but in a galaxy far, far away. Sure. You know, it's directed by is written and directed by Ishan Shukla. He's an Indian animation filmmaker. He dropped out of BITS Pilani to pursue his interest in animation. He has worked in the Singaporean animation industry for several years. Ishan's first animated short film, Shri Shirkoa, was long listed for Academy Awards 2017 and uh, won the Best in Show Award at Sigraf Asia. He established Studio 197A in 2018 to produce independent animated feature films. So. The quality of this was really, really great. The look of the animation and as well as like the fight scene was super cool. I thought the fight scene was quite nice. Um, yeah. I'll agree with you there. Like the look of it was nice as well. I just thought that the movement felt a little bit like reboot, you know? What do you mean by reboot? It's an old cartoon from when I was a kid. Like, oh, okay. Like, it was one, it's the first of its kind. It was a CGI cartoon. Got it. And so, it just had a, kind of a stilted sort of appearance to it, but they really, like, spent a lot of time crafting that fight scene. Yeah, and it for, got really good during the fight scene and part. For, for the American audience that has not watched RRR or any Indian films at all. There are lots of fight scenes in Indian films. They can be quite thorough sometimes. So I thought that was cool as yeah. not just an action piece for this, but a, a sort of a nod to Indian cinema in general. I'm sure that was some of the stuff that inspires Ishan Shukla. I mean, I have no idea what he's into, but he obviously is a fan of Shah Rukh Khan and Rani Mukherjee. <laughs> so there's that. That's such an obvious call out like that, that Indians, I guess, would have a nice little chuckle about that yeah, maybe. most other people wouldn't that, have wa that are watching this. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you're right. I guess he never gets Ronnie Mukherjee. They never end up together. No, whether they're siblings or dating. Another thing about Indian culture is the toughness of aunties. <laughs> like, they are mess. really, really tough. And so her pulling out the lightsabers, the, I wasn't even slightly surprised. No. Not even a little bit. No. Like, the fact that she came out a badass, I'm like, yep, yeah, that, that tracks. That that sounds about right. Yeah, so, it's definitely the auntie. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of an obvious plot twist, so to speak, when, you know, when the little girl was like that's not me i'm not doing all that yeah. uh it's like who else could it be like yeah. the only the only person the only real character that we had been introduced to before that moment was the auntie true so yeah it was unless it was like oh some rando character that the little guy getting bullied him. yeah <laughs> It was him all along. Yeah. yeah. He was messing with him. Continuing on with episode eight, The Pit. Uh. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Move it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people. Oh, no, 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 not you, guy. Get to work. Get to working, people. Wow. They really got to work. Oh, hello. I should have just enlisted the help of that armadillo creature. Oh, what have you found? Bring her to me. That was like a kyber crystal. I was wondering. I don't... Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. Whoa. Wow. It looks like they really hit the mother load on this one. Huh? Oh. Oh, what? What is it? I hit bedrock or something. They've reached the end. We're oh. finished. Well done, Commander. 
Now what? Oh no, I don't like this. They just left them there? What? How are you getting out? That's terrible. Oh no. You literally just left them in a pit in the middle of the desert. Like, what the? Okay, I'm also not surprised at this behavior. What are we going to do? Gotta help each other find a way out. We've been hearing rumors of a big city near. I've plotted the best course to climb. When I get to the top, I'll go there to find help. Help? Listen to me. I've seen this story before. Even if you manage to climb out of here alive and reach that city, they won't help us. Stay here. It's just too dangerous. Yeah, but how long can you stay there, though? Where's the food and water? Everyone has an inner light. No matter how dark, it's always there to guide you the right way. It lives in us all, even in these. Oh. Sometimes people forget this, so don't be afraid to use your voice and remind them. To follow the light? To follow the light. <laughs> okay, well... I guess they can build their own civilization. Just with his hands. Dang. Okay. This is giving me flashbacks of Dark Knight Rises. I'd be like, everyone, please stop watching me. It's making me nervous. Ah, so close, so close. Oh, little buddy. Come on, bud. Make, make little handholds. Aww. He's got you. Footholds, handholds, wow. Don't fall down. All right, everybody else climb now. I can see the city! I'm going to get help! Do you have enough water? That was kind of far. <laughs> Oh, everyone looks way too well dressed. Way too posh. Oh no. What is that? Like a, a church? A temple? Everyone listen up! I need all of you to hear me out just for a moment. We need your help. On the outskirts of this city, there is a giant pit. And those kyber crystals? They were mined by us, not the Empire. We helped build this city, and now we need your help. You there, hold it! Oh, jeez. Nothing to see here. Go about your business. Oh, no. They're just going to toss oh, them back in the pit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a death sentence. Oh, that's dark. Oh, no. oh my God. Wow, this got really dark. Follow the light. Follow the light! They'll find us. They'll help us, Mom. If we tell them to follow their light, they need to know we're here. Follow the light! Follow the light! Follow the light! Follow the light! Are they gonna hear them all the way? I guess activating the cargo crystals or something. Oh, no, it's just calling out to the people. This isn't good. We need backup. Oh, wow. Like, it really wasn't far at all. Yes! Let's move.
Oh no. Please come back with like ropes or something to pull them all out. Oh wow. Oh. That was dark. Yeah. I don't feel like that was a commentary on anything whatsoever. No, definitely not. Definitely not a commentary about a certain country's history and the fact that it was built on a lot of labor that was like essentially, you know, in, enforced and free. That was not commentary at all. It was bold. Very bold. Um, I, yeah. I thought that that was um, definitely... Sp I guess that's easy, though, for us. It could just, well, I mean, for me anyway, because I live in this country. And so if you care about these issues in real life, then this is an easy access for you emotionally, I think. Mm -hmm. In terms of it moving you in a particular way. That's quite upsetting. I was not prepared for that. Also, it's like a reminder of our responsibility as, as people in society who are benefiting from the works of other people people who do not have a fair shot, who are enslaved. It's our responsibility to not turn a blind eye and to help out. Sometime back, I um, was talking to a close friend of mine who's African descent. He's African American. I had mentioned something about a slave story being a movie. And he said, I'm tired of slave movies, man. I don't want to see another one ever again. Like, I'm, I'm just done. Like, can we can we watch black people be awesome? Do we have to keep going there to that? Like, does it have to be that? I really, really wonder from the audience, especially those of you who are black, I would love to know your age and how you felt about this. My guess would be that people on the younger side are like, yeah, cool, I feel seen or something like that. And the people on the older side are more like, I didn't need that. I would have preferred something a little bit more action and et cetera, et cetera. That's my guess. There are all kinds of people from all walks of life. It's not a monolith. There are younger people who might feel like this is not needed and they would have rather had something else. And there are older people who might have felt like this was spot on. But I would just love to know your age and your feelings as honest as possible if you're of African uh, American descent, you know, or even just, you know, of African descent from another country as well, you know, from the UK or whatever. The commentary was very obvious. Right. Uh, and I thought that they did a nice job of kind of rooting us into the struggles of the character and what you were kind of rooting for. If this was like a real place, it took on things in a realistic manner. It's like, sure. you know, when, when the young guy walks in there and no one's paying attention yeah. to him, I feel like that's absolutely that's what would happen. I mean, right. you yeah. just think about you at the mall or something. Some dude walks in like very like smelly and dis disheveled. <laughs> like yeah. clothes are torn up. You're not going to listen to that person. This, you're going to wait for the Paul, the security guard to... <laughs> oh, Paul. Paul Blart. Paul, Blart, Paul Blart to escort him out. You're not trying to be involved with that nonsense as far from your perspective, from your privileged perspective, right? Sure, yeah. And so um, I thought that was very realistic. And the eventuality of everyone kind of like just distraught or bothered by what they, when they, when they finally know what's going on and uprising together. It's like, that was cool. It, and yeah, know, and we, it, all, we all kind of have to work together to solve these issues. Exactly. It reminds us that, we, you know, if we all stand together, there's actually more of us than them, them yeah. being like government or whoever the oppressors are. If we all just band together, then yeah. we can get shit done. I kind of wanted to see the stormtroopers open fire. I wanted it to go there. <laughs> it's like, you already <laughs> took me this far. I know, Or right? you threw the kid into the pit. Like, let's let's see how far this goes. You know, if, you, if you're really making a comment, Let's go all the way. I know. I, then, I was surprised too that they did it. And then you see some. Then you see the stormtroopers getting strangled and the guns being turned off. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought some stro stormtroopers were going to get thrown into the pit. I was expecting yeah. like full on chaos, but yeah. I mean, I guess it was nice that they kind of went more in the vein of like a peaceful protest and like just some light trampling of stormtroopers and then the stormtroopers. No, were none like, of them got trampled. They did. They did. I didn't see that. They got like. I thought something got pushed out of the way. They got smooshed. I didn't see that. They deserved it. It's so the immediate comparison to my mind is, is something like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? For me personally, I don't necessarily need this kind of messaging in my Star Wars or in my Marvel movies or whatever. I watch this stuff to kind of check out and have fun. Now, if you want to have something kind of abstract so as to convey a message to me in a less direct way, that's fine. You know, X-Men is an analogy for racism. Pretty clear 
without overtly saying racist. Sure. And you know what I mean? And and so that's cool. Um, but like it feels like sometimes the messaging gets really, really like it's not very disguised what what the messaging is. Sure. It, it's like it's very clear. And maybe that's what's needed. Maybe you need that kind of thing. It's wildly unexpected that you're gonna get this in a Star Wars anthology, you know, like Star Wars Visions. Like I didn't see that coming. That was it uh, this is the last thing I would have predicted in this set of short films. Like objectively it was a good short film. I just don't know that I necessarily wanted this short film. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. It was definitely I, bold. I understand the messaging and, and what it, like, obviously, I, that already speaks to me without this short film existing. Mm-hmm. So it's preaching to the choir for me personally. I understand that's not the case for everybody. And I understand that the point is there are some people who are on the fence that you try to convince and you do it through this kind of messaging. And then that's like, oh, I didn't look at it that way before. Now I will be an ally, etc. cetera. Sure. Right? Me personally, it's like I'm already there. And so I'd rather get some fun stuff. If you want to have a short film that predominantly features people who look like they have a African complexion. I'm fine with that. Have them do some dope shit and kick ass, swinging lightsabers or whatever, or something cool, or racing around. I don't know. Maybe that's a a terrible way to look at it. I commend the short film. I thought it was well done. Um, I just didn't want it. Is that a, is that a fair assessment? You know? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you're, that's yeah, that's that's how you feel. I think it was interesting, but yeah, yeah very unexpected. Yeah. Again, it was well done, and it moved me. Um, I just didn't want to be moved that way. <laughs> yeah. It's like really uncomfortable yeah. when you're like, oh shit, they really threw him in there. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're really going there. Oh my God. They they did what I was hoping they would do at the end of Toy Story 3. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's round this out with Oz Song. Oz Ow. Song. Can you cleanse it though? Uh. Okay, this is broadening the lore in a way that is interesting because like I thought that the Jedi were supposed to go look for the Kyber crystals themselves. Right. I thought that was part of the whole point of becoming a Jedi. That's cute. That's really cute. That's a cute font. this cute thing ah Kratos ship she must be checking in with port security she'll be here soon <laughs> oh she's here ah. remember to keep your distance Ow. 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 it might be more corrupt than an old Jedi like me can purify it's very unstable very dangerous. Oh. What's happening? Oh, is she going to purify it? Uh. Oopsie. And so curious. <laughs> I'm afraid Ao and I must get to work. Hmm. Your Kaiba. Of course. Thank you, Abbot. We are grateful for your labors. To mine the Kaiba is our calling. Yes, and it takes courage to heed the call. Mm. This cannot keep happening. You know that to use your voice near the crystal is dangerous. Oh. It frightens me to think what will happen when I'm not there to protect you. You must learn restraint, Tao. Do you understand? It's very, very cute. Yeah. Have a good day at work, Tao. I'll see you this evening. What is it? Aww. A little tick. So she like can't speak at all for fear of blowing up the mines. Oh boy. Good <laughs> little Nathan Draking over here. Yeah. Wind an extra ten out here. This tunnel runs deep. Whoa. 
It's like a horror movie, that move. Like a ghost. <gasps> Take this path. <gasps> oh. That's like me hiking in Runyon Canyon. She lost her hat. <gasps> How are you gonna get back out? to dad. It's okay, Abby. She gonna take it away? Yeah. Just let her be her. Wow. Girl. <laughs> she purified the Kaiba. How? Your voice, Al. Across the thousands of stars I have traveled, never have I heard anything like it. It is a gift. And I can help you nurture it, but you would have to come with me. But her life is here. We cannot choose where our calling takes us, only whether or not to answer. Consider it. I'll be leaving in a fortnight. You have two weeks. Ready? Mm -hmm. I am. All right. You're the first of our kind to step out into the stars. Oh, I'm proud of you. Mm. Oh, Missy Abby. chill like just so delightful kind of like playing animal crossing or something yeah like the world is so cute the music's really cute i liked it a lot i just i wish they had pupils <laughs> so i only think because she just had these big old eyes that look dilated you know what i mean yeah 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 that was that was my only thing but outside of that i thought it was really adorable and it was a nice little message about letting your offspring find their path and you know yeah. maybe it'll be okay um, using your voice for good. Musically, they did a really great job of integrating just the music and the singing and all of that into the story. And the world was just delightful. The colors I liked. I even liked that they were kind of like animated soft toys. Like I love the texture that you see on, on like their felted fur. Yeah, I didn't mind that they were just cuddly little bears. <laughs> I was on the fence about it, but overall I liked the feeling of the story. 
Yeah. You know, I thought that was quite nice. And you could kind of see where it was going from a mile away, but the scale at which, you know, it was hitting, I was like, oh, wow, I like that yeah. a lot bigger than I had anticipated. Just like the whole of that mountainous region was full of kyber crystals that she was able to purify with her vo just her voice just her voice like how yeah. special i love all that stuff with the kyber crystals anything like even in the previous episode when um the little girl was holding the the piece of kyber crystal in her hand and then it changed color i was like Ooh, goosebumps yeah yeah she's like ah the yeah. force love yeah i think my favorite episode was still the korean one um after it's all said and done the way that hit every single thing I was looking for. Yeah. Um, that was That's my favorite, far and away. But I still enjoyed these three. I think of these three, the, the first one that we watched today was my favorite, the Indian one, just because it like had a lot going on. It did have a lot yeah. going on. Sim similar, similar messaging at the end of like having to let go of the person you love, which is such a shitty thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why does that have to keep happening? No, because sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to let go of someone in order, in order for them to grow. You can't be selfish and hold on to them if their path is leading them in a direction away from you, but that is ultimately gonna help them with their growth and their life. None of these people saw King Richard. King Richard, the Will Smith movie. Oh, about uh, Serena and Venus Williams? Yeah. Dad was there the whole time, and they became the two most powerful tennis players on the planet. Yeah, but I so. don't think she's gonna become a Jedi by staying at home with her dad. No, but the dad can come with. No, that's never the way. Since when have Jedi allowed chaperones or brothers or sisters they don't. or whatever? I'm exactly. Saying, I'm they saying just, that's a problem. They just, take, they just take children away from their families. This is a problem. Well, clearly, clearly, you know, shit goes wrong with the Jedi. I counsel yes. in a real fundamental way. And, and maybe, 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 maybe have the parents stick around and, you know, use their intuition on what's up. And yeah, be, that, that's be, where know. they went wrong. Yeah. Just keep the parents nearby. Should have had the family close by. That's what they should have done and said, you know, shit happened. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this season. I thought it was a lot stronger than season one for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I particularly enjoyed the emotional damage episodes. I do love a good cry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like there were so many that I was just, I think episode three was the one where I was like, I am so broken right now. Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Do you think that you might have liked the season more because it was more female focused? Well, that is something that I definitely noticed. In fact, I felt like it was kind of lacking in a representation for little boys, you know? I mean, that's what most of Star Wars is focused on guys, I think, so. Well, sure, I get that, but I mean, it's a whole season of like nine episodes and the main characters, except for your favorite episode. I feel like all of the main characters, the protagonists were female. I, mean, I guess female in, the last, in, in the last one, the young man was also an important character. Yeah, he was, but at the end of it, when it's all said and done, you're, the female is the one who's sort of leading yeah. the charge. Yeah. Um, she was inspired by her brother, but she's leading the charge at the end, and she's the yeah. one who's got the power, like with her the crystal in her hand. I wanted to see young, some 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 young boy Jedi's getting picked up to like run away from home. The young Indian girl. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, there's powerful women all over the place. You can too. So, <laughs> um, you guys, thanks so much for hanging with us. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Uh, please subscribe, bell icon, all notifications, vote this up, let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching, and if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships, thanks so much for supporting us here. I'm Jabby Kowei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.